Dozens of children die every year in hot cars. Now a new bill just introduced in Washington, D.C. is demanding action. Shut off the engine. Close the doors. It is amazing just how quickly the conditions heat up back here. And the vehicle turns into an oven. 167 on the front seat, buddy. 167. Triggering a race to rescue pets. There's another one. And people. There's a baby in a car. He's just in there by himself. So far this year, 23 kids have died in hot cars. More than 800 since 1990. I robbed him of his life including Raylan Balfour's nine-month-old son, Bryce. Now, an urgent bipartisan push from lawmakers. This is about saving kids' lives. The 2017 Hot Cars Act would force automakers to install rear seat alert systems in all new vehicles. The surface where I am sitting right now is measuring 150 degrees. To experience the toll heat has on an adult. I'm covered in sweat. I can feel my heart starting to race a bit faster. We teamed with doctors at Overland Park Regional Medical Center. His body is telling him to try his best to get cool and get out of the car. Shut inside a hot car. The greenhouse effect that they talk about is very real, and you can tell that. The temperature spiked to 115 degrees. Look at this. You can tell how hot it is. Our electronics are even shutting down. My iPhone overheated. Some of the cameras are turning off. And after just 15 minutes, I can't even imagine being a kid trapped in a hot car. We popped the door. Ooh. What is it? 101.2. So it's 101.2, and that was just after 15 minutes being inside of a car. And a baby's temperature can rise three to five times faster. In children who are more susceptible to these problems, 107 can be life-threatening. This baby isn't real. It's used for training at Overland Park Fire Department. A fake child. There is no airflow in that car right now. We placed in conditions dangerously real. And it doesn't take that long in heat like this. The inside of the vehicle soared 30 degrees in 10 minutes. 114 degrees. So that's just the car seat. I mean, what type of condition would this child be in right now after 30 minutes in that type of heat? Yeah, it could be absolutely uh, fatal. A new Missouri law now means a good Samaritan can't be forced to pay for damage to rescue a child trapped in a hot car after calling 911. The move inspired by this rescue of a toddler in Merriam two years ago. Currently, there isn't an official law in Kansas. Some more candy, Dad. Keeping kids safe in cars is the mission of nonprofitkidsincars.org, warning exhausted parents. On average, one child dies in a hot car every nine days. There's a few factors that are almost always present. Number one, you're not getting enough sleep. And in almost every single case, there's a change in the normal daily routine. Their message, look before you lock. Keep a reminder in the back seat, like a wallet or a cell phone, something that forces you to check the back when you park. Leave a stuffed animal in your baby's car seat, and when you put the baby in, put that stuffed animal in the front, another reminder. And ask your child care provider to call you immediately if your child doesn't arrive as scheduled. The absolute worst thing that anybody can do is to think that this can't happen to them. Now, there's not a timeline on when Congress will debate the 2017 Hot Cars Act, a Senate version of the bill expected to be announced soon. But to see how safely to break a window to rescue a child, if absolutely necessary, after calling 911, check out our Kids in Hot Cars story right here at KSHB.com.